Perusional cast on. I just tied a knot with these two yarns. This is my scrap yarn. This is my working yarn. Working yarns on the bottom. Okay, and I just pick these up. I grab my needle and I hold on to these two yarns. Okay, put my yarn in the middle. I'm going to pick up our working yarn from the middle, underneath, and up, over, under both of them, and go through. Start in the middle, pick it up, pick it up, go over, underneath both of them, and through. Okay, middle, pick it up from underneath, over, underneath both, and then go through. Now, middle, pick it up, over, underneath both, and then go through. Okay? It's kind of fun doing it after a while. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to stop. I don't know how many I did. But hopefully it'll be enough. Okay, so let's hold on to these so they don't unravel. Let's get our other needle. So hold on to the scrap yarn. We're going to knit. And you can either unravel this next stitch or knit it through the back but I've just found it easier to just or you can like untwist it and twist it the right way but I just found it easier to just knit it and it works so that's the easiest way I'm going to do it that way two we need to cast on ten Three, four. That's how you do the provisional cast on. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. And if you have more on there, that's fine. Just let them go. So just hold on to this. Okay. Okay, so we need to be doing this for 54 rows. So after this, it'll be 50 more, 52 more times. All right, I'm glad I did it in black so you can see. Here's our stitches, all of them. So when the time comes, all we do is we slide this out and put in one of your needles. We'll do that later, but anyways, yeah. Provisional cast on, super easy. Okay, now what we do is we take our stitches.
stitches and we put them on our other needle. Then we slide this off. Oh, I'm gonna do it this way. And you can slide it off before, but I just got kind of nervous. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to do a three needle bind off. We put our stitches together and with our working yarn in the front. And we get a third needle and I have a double point needle. And you just go through your first stitch like you're going to knit, and then your back stitch, same way, like you're knitting. And then you get your yarn, and you knit them together. And then you pull them off. And then we do it to the next stitches. And then we go through both of them. And then just like a normal bind off, we take the first stitch and then we pull it over our second stitch. Okay? Off first stitch. It'd be easier if you had another needle to pull it off, but this works all the way to the end of the row. Now I just bound off, and usually you cut this yarn, but I'm going to keep it, and we are going to pick up 29 stitches. So I didn't know you could do it this way, but I was told you can do it this way. So awesome. This is the easiest thing ever. So you just pick up the, these stitches on the top. So pick up 29 stitches. Okay, so I picked up my stitches with a smaller size needle. And then I'm going to um, knit with the regular size and I'm doing this circular loop method because I don't like double pointed needles and now we knit these stitches and if you don't know how to do the magic loop method I have a video that will explain it a little bit better. Okay? So, I need all these stitches. Okay, so now we need to cast on nine stitches. So, this is how I cast on. I make a circle and I put it on my needle. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then after this, you can divide your stitches evenly again. Now, we are going to knit the rest of the round.
And before I knit on the other side, I moved these stitches that I cast on on the other side because we're because if you're not knitting in the magic loop method, you're supposed to slip your marker um, before you cast it on. So these are supposed to be the start of your first round. Okay, so I just put them back on this needle. I'm knitting the rest of it, okay? And round two and the rest of the even rows, we just knit. Alright, round three, we slip, slip, and knit. So, we pretend we're going to knit it, but we take it off. That'll make a slant. We knit five and then knit two together. So one, two, three. these two together and then now we just knit the rest of the round okay and then for round five it's the same thing as round three except you knit three and same with seven and I think that's it. Yeah. So we slip, slip, and then we go through them in the front. I don't know how why she wants us to do it in the back because I don't know. That doesn't work for me. And then slip them off. Knit three. One, two, three. And then knit two together. And then knit the rest. Okay, so I will see you at round nine. Okay, for round nine, you're going to slip two. Knit one. And then you pick these two slip stitches and pull it over the one you knit. And then we just knit for the rest of the rows for nine and a half inches. Bind off. 